patient. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. How's it guys? Travis from Ultra Geelong Nick here. Well, I've got a new model which I want to build. Uh, Boyd has just started building it. He's done the lower half of the build already. He just posted that. I watched it this evening. Uh, looking pretty good. He's got the whole lower half of the tank done and the wheels on and he's done a bit of work on the turret itself. But I've decided after watching his video instead of building the warthog I'll rather build the tank I'm not sure how long this build will take uh, Boyd's video he didn't show much of the assembly of the certain parts I uh, want to just do a little bit more of a video than what he's done on his uh, hopefully mine will be able to come out as nice as his but he's been doing it for the tribute build I have no idea how to add my videos and stuff to that or how that works exactly I'm not sure but I'm going to be building the Tiger 1 tank as well I'm going to build it the same way he's building his as it looks on the cover the only difference is once this tank is built I'm going to build a Sherman tank to go with it and then I'm going to build a diorama where the two will be standing on together so that's I don't know how what boy it's going to do with his but that's what I'm going to do with mine in the, so let's go right over to the unboxing of the tiger tank and I'll show you in a little bit more detail than what Boy did on his on all the parts. So I'll be back now. Okay, guys, um, there's the box. It's a Tamir kit. Uh, so far, I found Tamir to be a very good kit. They, all the models go together. My Enterprise aircraft carrier build was a Tamir. It went together perfect. There was some little things on the deck which I had a problem with, but I think that was just my problems which I created myself. Um, this is how I want to build the tank. It gives you the colorings for a couple of other different tanks there and there. Um, it gives over. Here it gives the date. This one is 1944. This one is 1943. And this one is 1943. But I'm gonna go with that one, which is the 19 1943, the 332, like what boy is gonna be building. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. I haven't even opened these yet. Let me just tilt this so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to tilt the camera up a bit so you can see easier. Uh, there's the commanding officer over here. His arms and head, some bulkheads for the tank. Is a bit better like that I guess the top of the tank the two halves of the turret the front of the turret the top of the turret now there's one here and one here because they different so you have to use the right one uh, is the back of the tank I think that goes inside so the turret can move up and down there's quite a bit on that sprue. Then we go to the next one, this one over here, which has all your markings in the back over there. It's got your main 
barrels now I don't know if it's two different sizes because this one and that one look different in size I'm not sure what's going on there you've got some ropes over here your cables for towing there and there you've got a lot of different bits uh, if you've got your a machine gun over here you've got what looks like bolt cutters an axe shovel hammer and some more other parts looks like a part of the bridge that goes inside the tank and a lot of different little pieces and the next one's got all your wheels your road wheels two different sets of sprocks depending on which tank you're building your arms two shovels and a whole load of other little parts which i'm not sure what they do but that is full of parts then in this one we've got a piece of paper which tells you what to do with this hose and a whole load of parts and more cables engine parts some wheel parts that go on the front of the tank that's full of all sorts of different parts then we've got the lower half of the hull nicely detailed got a couple of little marks on it sides aren't too bad boy said he had marks on the sides i'm not sure what he had over there but that's pretty clean on mine the only place that i do see a problem is right over here i don't know if you can see that there is a little bit of a mark i just have to try to figure out what that's all about otherwise that is pretty good there is a light line there but that looks like molded parts it doesn't look like it's something that needs to be sanded out it actually looks like something that's inscribed on the plastic and then finally we get to the actual treads those will now go of course onto the road wheels and stuff and tank tracks they're pretty nicely molded I don't know how nicely you can see there they're pretty elastic these of course you just got the little gadgets there you pop them in place like that and then they're done okay and finally yeah is the different positioning of your different things the numbers where the stuff has to go the differences i guess and how to paint them this is the one I'm going to be building here. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's five. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like six different ways you can paint this tank. So that is just a paint guide. And then of course here is your long list of how to build. There's your basically start on the tank. Your two different sprockets, which one is which. Then you go to the half bottom half putting the back on, putting your little sprock arms on for the wheels and then you go to the actual wheels themselves then it's the, let me just get that back in view, the assembly of the wheels applying the wheels in place 
once all that's done at the assembly of the top parts and a whole load of different things over there and then finally once everything's done applying the turret on and your officer and he's all painted over here it gives you what colors to paint the different parts now the arm the body and the head are all separate so you can take the head put it down paint that and then paint the body and arm separate so you don't have to worry about trying to mask off that head because it will be one separate part and you can paint that nicely on its own and once everything's painted put it all together and get it finished and then of course the one thing that I've never figured out why they put that in the bottom of the box I guess it's just to save paper makes sense in a way I guess but that's about it that is everything that's in the box let me just take some of this away that's the one that. I don't like to rip the plastic open I always try to take the staple out and throw that away separate that way the plastic doesn't get ripped and I don't have to worry about any problems if I want to reuse the plastic it's nice okay. Here's a look at the decals or the different numbers which you can use. Of course I'll be using that one over there and I'm not sure what else. But that's that one. Okay, as I said, the only thing that I can't figure out is why this one over here is shorter than that one over there I do see a bit of a round piece there but I can't figure out I'll figure that out once I build it because it does look a little bit weird but the thing I wanted to show you if I can get it to focus uh, is that machine gun it looks absolutely amazing the detail on that is absolutely stunning for such a small little piece of plastic it is amazingly detailed on the Sherman you get the one that I've got you get a Tommy gun and a whole lot of other guns and they are absolutely stunning so the one thing I must say about Tamiya models they are absolutely brilliant and if you take a look at that wire cutter over here it is absolutely stunning the detail in the axe and there's a shovel and a hammer they're all absolutely beautifully detailed even though they're so small they are amazing so now in boy's build he's basically almost finished with this part he's got all of this done here the back piece and prime painted wheels on everything so I'm going to build it the same way he's building it do all of this so when I come back with the first video that's what you will be seeing is me doing the bottom I'm going to build it the same way as what Boyd is doing I want to build it that way and see how it comes out so 
here we go guys that is what i'm going to build next i couldn't make up my mind between this one the i can't think of the the number now i know it's a warthog and the i think it's the f15 strike eagle i was going to go with the warthog and then i saw bullets build on this one and i decided no i'm building the tank be back now okay guys that's everything for this video i'll be starting very 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 soon on the tank uh, as i say i'll be doing the lower hull first gluing that all together priming it painting it like boy did i'm just not sure if i've got the right color paints for it i have to just check that but the first part will be getting the wheels done i'll be showing you how i do the wheels and everything in detail um, Boyd showed you how he glued the wheels in place but he didn't show you how he painted the black rubber rim around it I'm gonna do all of that so my build will most probably take a little bit longer than he's not in time of building it but the amount of videos which I put out it might be a little bit more than what he will be doing he's not going into as much detail but uh, anyway that is it for the unboxing of my next model project as I say this will be basically coming out in three parts part one is the tiger tank part two will be the Sherman tank and then part three will be the diorama which both of them will be sitting on so until next time happy modeling Live long and prosperous and enjoy. Cheers.